Good morning, guys. What's going on? Um, just got up. It's actually like nine o'clock almost. I definitely slept in. So you probably heard from the last video, there's like a train line right there and it was active all night. Um, I don't know, maybe they're like doing shunting around here or something because there was a lot of like sudden just like whip crack sounds that would like echo right through here and yeah, it woke me up in a fright a couple of times. But besides that, I slept really good here. It was a little bit cold last night actually, but it was um, just right in the tent. Anyway, my bike's so dirty, damn. Um, I'm gonna have some breakfast and try and get moving. We're gonna do about 50 kilometers today, around 30 miles. And, oh, what's it called? Devil's Alley Campground. Sounds like a decent one. Looks like I got company for breakfast. Where is he? Let me go. Oh, there he is, look at this guy. I saw a bunch of these last night, all of my panniers. I suppose they're all through them now. What a cutie. Whoop. Some of you will be proud of me, I'm uh, cutting up an apple. Gonna have it on my oats with organic, organic uh, blueberries. So, give it a thumbs up for that. And sugar, of course. All right, I'm finally packed up, ready to go. I do not know how it took me so long. It's like 11.30. <laughs> this morning to disappear but I think I needed to sleep in especially being kept up with the trains and didn't sleep as well the night before with the stealth camp anyway we're only doing like 30 miles so we should be able to smash it out pretty easy we might stop for lunch on the way or we might just go through we'll just see how we feel we got the poor poor tunnel today I think so I don't know if we can get through though everyone keeps saying there's a diversion let's find out for ourselves shall we let's ride found ourselves a really nice little piece of trail through here uh, when we first started off there, it was pretty muddy and sloppy. But now it's a bit drier. Um, I guess I guess drainage is a bit better here, maybe. Got the river on one side, the old canal on the other. And yeah, it's just nice. The sun's out. There's a few bikers around too. I just got passed by a couple of people. I've stopped for a piss. And I've seen a bunch of people go ahead of me before I left. Yeah, which is nice. It's nice to have a slightly... Uh, social as aspects with people that just get it, you know. Um, it's like a difference between this and maybe, I don't know, mate. Like to an extent, the West Coast, because on the West Coast you don't see as many people. You still see a lot, but not like this. Yeah. Anyway, we'll just keep rolling. I'm not too sure how they carved through here. Look at this. I mean, I can only assume that they put this through here, unless there was already a river here. This is crazy. We're just coming past another one of the locks. I think this would be 71 or 70. Probably says up ahead. Yeah, it's a pretty spot this one. Wanted to share it with the crew. Yeah, so we're uh, 10 miles in. And yeah, I'm kind of thinking I want to have lunch. But I don't know if there's water here. I don't see any. There might be some of this hike of biker. Uh, I want to keep my schedule decent. You can hear the train over there. <laughs> yeah, I want to keep my schedule like half decent so I'm not eating like real late. So either that or I'll have a snack. We'll just see if there's water. We're at 13.3 uh, miles and we just got to Town Creek Hiker Biker Campsite. Looks like the water's here. I'll check it works and we might have some lunch here. I mean, we're about halfway anyway and it's like one o'clock. I saw there's some smoke down there so there might be someone by the fire. Scratch that. I can't get any water to pump out of this thing. I checked on the website that has the list of what's working and it says it is, but I don't know, I pumped it for like two minutes. Um, there's another site in like eight miles or something like that. Uh, I guess I'll just have a can of peaches. I think I've got one somewhere. Just setting up for lunch now, guys. I'm about a mile and a half from the Poor Poor Tunnel Detour. Uh, I forget the campsite's name. If anyone knows, put it in the comments. I'm gonna have rice, two cups, some salsa and Got some of these tortillas. Just came down to the river here at the site. Wanted to show you guys. It's a nice little spot. Um, be good for a little swim. Uh, it's a little chilly though. And yeah, we got more riding to do anyway. What do you guys think? Pretty good May, huh? Let's eat. I hope that's a test. I don't even know what that is. 
Is that for hurricanes? What is that? It went off earlier as well. This is like the second time. I'm sure it's nothing. I mean, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> so we found where the tunnel D2 is supposed to be. Uh, I see it off up into the bush there. It looks pretty steep. I think the road bike can handle it. Uh, it says it's open for visitation and it is a Sunday. So let's go check it out. Here it is, the Paw Paw Tunnel. Now you're allowed to go in it apparently. It sounds like it's actually not even the tunnel that's under maintenance. So I think there's some people in there. So we might just wait and see what they say when they come out. If they come out. I don't know if they will. Anyway, let's go up here. Okay. Oh. Cool. <sighs> Just up the top here now. Um, I'm sure I saw lights in there. I don't know where these people are. Maybe they got through. What do you reckon, guys? Should we try and get through ourselves? So we made it to the other end, and you know, it's just like a little gate there. Obviously, I haven't gone over there, but if you wanted to, you could pretty easily. Um, I mean, if you didn't want to climb, but then also there'd be people working there during the week. For me, I'm like, well, I've seen the tunnel. I may as well just go back out and go over, just see something else. Might be, might be nice anyway. Um, but yeah, you could do it if you wanted to. Just gotta get your bike over somehow. I mean, there's literally a ladder right there, and there's another ladder there, and there's another ladder over there. So I think you could probably work it out. This tunnel's actually pretty creepy. There's quite a few people coming through with those. It's actually kind of funny. All right, back out the other end. That tunnel isn't exactly road bike friendly. Fuck it, I can't even walk with this. Um, really rough, but definitely worth checking out. And you know, now you've seen the other end too. Um, let's hope that this climb is road bike friendly. I doubt it. Oh, this is quite the detour so far. Uh, pretty steep, especially for all this weight. As soon as I hit any grade, it's hard. I've managed to ride it all so far. Um, yeah. You know when something's like higher than it looked at first? That's sort of how I'm feeling right now. All right, we made it over. This is just the other end. I kind of came in just to see what was here. I'm um, trying to keep the sun out of the camera. It's You could get past, but it's, you know, be a pain. Not really worth it. Yeah, all right. Um, block 66, is this something? Uh, what does it say? Oh, mate, lock 64, two slash three, whatever that means. Um, it's just a really nice little bit, bit of uh, trail I wanted to show you straight after the tunnel. Yeah, not too far to the campsite now. We're at, uh, maybe a little bit, we're at 23.9 anyway. I've got to really watch the road while I film like this. I'm, I'm holding it with my hand. I don't know if it's going to be better or not. But anyway. So here we're at Sora Ridge campsite, which is right after the tunnel. Um, I was going to go a little bit further to the Devil's Alley one though. It had good ratings. Uh, I didn't look at this one, but this one looks really nice too. But, you know, may as well do a few more miles. I just passed the mile 150 marker, which means, yeah, it's 150 back to Washington. Um, so, by my current pace, if I'm doing about 30 a day, I guess I have another five days riding. Um, I'm enjoying going at, like, a cruisy pace. I'm not in any hurry. Um, as long as the weather holds out, then I'll probably just stick to this. There are supposed to be a few cool spots to check out. Uh, there's like an old battlefield. It's a little bit off the route though. So I guess if I did something like that, it might add another day as well. But really we're just gonna play it by ear. Um, just see how we feel, you know. Again, as long as it doesn't rain. I always love seeing the old beaten up houses. Look at this one. It actually looks like it would have been a really nice house. Sometimes I'm surprised that they're abandoned, you know. Anyway, lock number 59, slowly ticking them off. Um, it's crazy that they built these, isn't it? You can see all like some of the old timber and old nails, probably because they probably had a lining on it to make it more water tight or something. Um, well, 32, I only have a couple more to do. How nice is this little piece of trail, huh? I like this one, how it's a little bit more of a groan compared to the gap, which 
I mean, sometimes it can be annoying, but in this case, it's really nice to have the trees coming right in. Made it to Devil's Alley. It looks really nice, and you can hear the water coming past. It's actually right up on the river, too. I'm glad I came here. And that puts us at 34, but I messed around in the tunnel a bit there. Let's go get set up, guys. Never trust these oats containers. The lids always come off. Mine has spilt. See that? So annoying. So this is the river just down from the campground. Isn't that awesome? Time for a cold but necessary shower or bath. All right, dinner's ready. Basmati rice tonight. I uh, cooked up two cups, I think. Gonna have some of this sweet baby rays. And uh, hmm, that's probably about it, actually. I'm gonna tidy up and hop in the tent. So I'm in the tent now, gonna get ready for bed. I might try and get to bed a little earlier. I don't know where this morning went. I just can't believe by the time I left, it was like 11.30. I have no idea what happened. Preferably, I'd rather get going at like 8.30, but I mean, that's when I got up this morning. So obviously I need like a little bit more sleep. Um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Got a few more days to go yet. So just, yeah, tune in for the next one and I'll see you then.